I started by modifying my crosscut sled. Marked 11mm offset from the cutting teeth. Here I glued a wood piece that is of the same thickness as the cutting blade. The main purpose? It will help to make repetitive cuts. I lower the blade about 2mm below the wood surface and with the help of 7mm drill bit space the walnut piece on the crosscut sled for the first cut. For a second cut I flip the board and pushed it along the glued walnut strip. Those two first cuts were the trickiest part. All the rest cuts should be made by putting a cut groove on the glued spacer and repeating it by flipping the board after each pass. Now the wood became a bit flexible along the grain. Let's cut it more, but this time rotated by 90 degrees. The procedure is the same for the first two cuts. 7mm drill bit spaced the first cut and the second one was made by placing the board along the glue strip. The proper spacing in those two will ensure accurate and evenly spaced further cuts. This pattern looks so cool! And now it flexes in all directions. From this thin walnut leftover, I'm planning to make some kind of support. With a ruler and masking tape, made a simple template and sketched the upcoming shape. I will be needed two identical pieces, so I sandwiched two boards with masking tape and CA glue. The best tool for this cut is a bandsaw, but it could be cut with a jigsaw or even some hand tools. A bit of sanding was needed to clean those bandsaw marks. And here it is, two identical pieces. To make a fixing point in the middle, I came back to the bandsaw for a pair of small cuts. Despite the sliced walnut board being quite flexible and I could force it along the legs, I decided to use some water to release the tension in the wood even more. Now it is way more manageable than before. It feels more like rubber than a wood. While the wood was still moistured, I placed it on the stand and applied some weight from above. The next day it was totally dried and holds given form. To fix it permanently, I used few drops of CA glue. And here it is, the solid and thick walnut leftover was formed in a new, nice and curved application. Thanks for your support in subscribing to the channel. This encourages me to keep working on new projects. Have an awesome day, bye!